Hey, it's Mike here, and today, chicken. Particularly, is it the healthy meat? Because growing up, I was told by a lot of sources that chicken was way healthier than other meats, and I would eat it thinking that I was so much healthier than everybody eating all the red meat. And this chicken is healthier notion has really caught on. Chicken is now the most consumed animal on Earth at over 50 billion chickens per year. And in the US, we consume about 60 to 90 pounds of chicken per year, surpassing any other meat. Perhaps the biggest health myth around chicken is that it has way less cholesterol than red meat. Even the American Heart Association is telling people to eat more chicken. Because, quote, in general, red meats, beef, pork, and lamb have more cholesterol and saturated bad fat than chicken. Now, is that a good recommendation? Well, because of this attitude, chicken is now the main meat source of cholesterol in the U.S. diet. Oops, and it's also the main meat source of saturated fat in the US diet, double oops, or should I say, oop hoops. In fact, depending on the cut of meat, AKA the part of the animal's body that you're eating, the cholesterol content of chicken is roughly equivalent to beef. Using data from chronometer.com and elsewhere, here is approximately four ounces of various meats and the type of cut. As you can see, chicken is about the same or more cholesterol laden than other meats. With chicken, you can quote, remove skin before cooking like the American Heart Association tells you to do and still go neck and neck in cholesterol level with ground beef, for example. So as far as the American Heart Attack, I mean the American Heart Association's recommendations go, this is the equivalent to recommending somebody, you know, steps down from their pack of 20 cigarettes a day to about 18 cigarettes. And then, you know, then you'll be healthy. But it's even worse because the health washing of chicken has now led people to consume so much that as we saw on the charts, it's the main source of cholesterol and saturated fat out of any meat in the US, it's crazy. I mean, this attitude really affects things. I know bros who would go to Buffalo Wild Wings, a popular sports bar with chicken wings, and pound down like 10 chicken wings in a single sitting, which depending on their size is like 600 to 750 milligrams of cholesterol in one sitting. That's a recipe for a clogged penile artery, bro. No one wants that. Now I wanna quickly add a point here, and that's that I'm not saying to eat beef instead. I'm saying that neither are healthy, and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, well, don't you know that cholesterol doesn't matter and all that jazz? Well, I do have in-depth videos on why cholesterol does matter and why eating it does matter, and they'll be linked below. Now I wanna back up a little bit because in a way, this whole chicken is a lighter myth happened to be sort of true for maybe your great-great-grandmother. From this study, over the past 140 years from chicken breeding and what we're feeding them, chickens have on average increased their fat content by about, you know, seven to 10 times. So those were some really lean chickens back in the day. However, we have known this for over a decade, so there's no excuses for people like the AHA to leave their Eat More Chicken article up. God darn it. Eat more science, American Heart Association. Moving on, there's another level to how inconvenient this is, and that is the simple fact that white meats, including chicken and fish and turkey, can still be processed. Yeah, and processed meat is a class 1A carcinogen. You just can't feel great about eating chicken sausages compared to pork ones. I'm sorry. Moving on, another aspect of why chicken isn't healthy is that chicken makes you fat. And I want to hand that over to Dr. Greg of Nutrition Facts as he plows through the research. Which type of meat was the worst? If you remember back to that study of hundreds of thousands of men and women, poultry consumption appeared to be the worst. But maybe it was reverse causation, meaning obesity led to greater chicken consumption, not the other way around. This new study controlled for that, adjusting for dietary habits, yet found the same thing. Chicken consumption was most associated with weight gain in both women and men, and it didn't take much. And in terms of diet and weight from this study in the US, vegans were the only ones that were measured in the normal BMI. Vegetarians were not, and meat eaters, the people eating all the chicken, were definitely not in the normal BMI. I think probably the most ironic part here is that people are eating all these meats like chicken to get protein. Yet from this study, their protein levels are still lower than that of vegans. Yes, their free blood protein is lower. All those animals eaten, and your protein is still lower than a vegan. You don't need it. You know. So in summary, the myths around chicken being healthy are simply not true. Cholesterol levels are very comparable to red meats. It's got that processed meat potential, and it is super fattening. So if you're going around thinking that you're super healthy because you're eating all this white meat, like me years ago, 
you're wrong. I'm sorry. So feel free to share this video with someone that still has that belief that chicken is healthy, just like I did. And try and be a little bit nice about it, though. Don't be like, hey, Uncle Terrence, watch this video, you chicken f***er. I mean, dear Uncle Terrence, remember that thing that you said about chicken? I don't believe that it's actually considered to be factually correct, and so that perhaps you should watch this video. Okay, that's it for today. Feel free to like and subscribe, and super thanks to everybody that supported me in all the ways that people support me, like Patreon. All right, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.